Welcome to First Down Playbooks, All-22 Tuesday, a collaboration with USA Football. I'm Keith Grabowski, host of the Coaching Coordinator Podcast, and joining me to talk over some plays here is Charlie Coiner, CEO and founder of First Down Playbook, former NFL and college coach. Charlie, great to be talking ball again. Hey, Keith. Absolutely. It's been great being here in Nashville and uh, getting to be around a lot of football coaches, high school and college. Been really good and uh, seen a lot of good uh, new technology and, and talked to a lot of coaches. Excited about today, we're going to pick out a play from the two national championships, the FCS and the FBS, and uh, take a look at those for this week. Okay, this play is from the national championship game. LSU goes up by 10 here on what looks like he's going to start like a high-low, typical high-low here with a flat and a corner. Um, but Moss, number 81, just hooks up right here. And you're going to see 24. You and I were talking about this before. 24 looks like he's going to bracket and, and help there on that seam in the middle. And, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell what would have happened. It looks like they could have run the corner on this one as well. Um, I, you know, I don't know what that guy's ability is. I'm, you know, it's Clemson. He's really good. So he might be able to get his hips open and make a play there. But uh, when you got Joe Burrow throwing the ball, I'm not, I'm not sure anybody can make a play on that. And, and as we record this, it, it's the uh, Tuesday after this game. And, and anyone who watched this game knows that you could have picked, you know, we could probably pick 20 or 30 plays to highlight on this. What an incredible game. And the reason that we picked this one was that, um, and I, and I watched the game with some other uh, coaches last night, and, and, and I've never seen a game where I felt like the team that was winning on the scoreboard was, uh, was maybe getting beat just because the job that Clemson's defensive coordinator, Venables, did. There was always people coming hot, and, and he had so many different looks. Uh, but like you just said, Burroughs overcame it. But in this situation right here, either the offensive line should have set to the left and picked this up, or they knew it was going to be hot. 47 comes free. So somebody would have maybe been hot, or, or Burroughs just decided to play fast and go back over here to the, uh, to the sideline. We'll take a look at it. A lot, of, a lot of good football to be learned just off of this one game. I mean, a coach could study it for, for really a week's. You could see here as he starts his break and he just hooks up that it feels like he's he's got the leverage he needs to get over top to the corner right there too. But, you know, I think they probably felt that, um, you know, they, that number one there, you know, they could just play the ball underneath. And you see he does start to turn his hips. And like I said, it, it's hard to tell maybe where he got, would have got to. But right there he turns like he's going to go to the corner and the ball just comes right underneath him. We ran this route with actually a, a, a guy named Robert Royal, who was an LSU graduate himself, um, played for me when I was at LSU and then played for Saban's uh, staff. And it, it is such a hard route, you know, because it's like you're talking about, this could be open over the top and you just put your foot in the ground. The big thing is to actually make sure that you stop on a dime to where the quarterback knows the ball's going to be. Now, once again, not sure what was going on. We'll take a look at it from the end zone right here. Looks like Burroughs just made his mind up that he was going to play fast through this and, and get the ball off. And he did. He took a shot to the ribs here. Um, but I'm sure he wished he you know, wouldn't have to do a whole lot, but, but it still works out. But you can see that poor corner really has no chance, like you're talking about, Keith. He's probably got the same issues on the uh, on a real corner route. And I'll tell you, Charlie, he does not have a tenth of a second more. No, in, in that one way. right there, because he does get it hit and take a shot on this one. But that ball's out. Yep. Now I, I would say that you know two doesn't look like he's hot. Number six maybe does. Trying to get friendly there for him a little bit, but I believe right now Burrow. Has, and Burroughs just made his mind up that he was going to play fast, get the ball out, and it paid off. Heck of a game. Like I said, if we, you know, we'll probably come back to this football game here and, and, and do some later. But heck of a game to watch. Charlie, two plays, two big plays here in the national championship uh, for the FCS and the FBS. 
today and all drawn up on first down playbook. How can coaches get to work on first down playbook now and start building their playbooks for 2020? What they need to do, Keith, is they need to go to firstdownplaybook.com and take a look there. And we just want to reiterate, because we talked to so many coaches in Nashville about our webinars that we'll be now putting on uh, five nights a week. And uh, we'll change up the times. But if a coach wants to get on First Down Playbook for free for one week and take a look at what we're doing, all they need to do is sign up for one of those webinars. And we'll get them coached up in about 20, 30 minutes answer any questions they have, and then turn them loose. Turn really your whole staff, turn your whole staff loose on first down playbook free for one week.